Now let's talk inverses. Okay, for inverses, I'm going to type up a quick little list. The first thing you always do on an inverse is set your function notation. So if you have an f of x or g of x, replace it with a y. Okay, that's your first thing. So you just replace a y. Your second step, you're going to switch x and y. In your equation, you just switch positions because an inverse is switching your x and y coordinates. Okay, your third step is just simply solve for y. And that's our last step. So let's take those steps, starting with a log, and try to find the inverse. So our first step, we're going to replace f of x with y because that's what it is. So we're going to put y equals long base 4, and I'm not going to drop my base this time, of x minus 1 plus 5. Okay, now I'm going to switch the positions of x and y. So I'm going to put an x where the y is and write the whole thing out. And then I'm going to put a y where the x is. So this creates the inverse right there with the switch. Now let's just solve for y, so we need to get y by itself. So let's first isolate the log, so that means I'm going to move the 5, so that logarithm can be on the same side by itself. So it can be log base 4 of y minus 1. Okay, now... I've isolated the logarithm. It's on that side by itself. Log of the base, log base 4 of some quantity. Now I have to do the rewrite. This is when you take it from log form to exponential form. So I have to think, okay, what's my base? Well, my base of my log is also the base of the exponent or exponential form. So it's base 4. The log always equals an exponent. So the exponent is x minus 5. And that's going to equal to y minus 1. So I'm really close to getting the y by itself. All I need to do is move the 1. So I'm going to take base of 4 to the x minus 5, and I'm going to add 1 to it. Now, I don't add 1 to that negative 5. That negative 5 is an exponent. I just keep it as a constant at the back. And then to indicate that this is an inverse, I'm going to put a little y to the negative first on this side over here, and that indicates that is an inverse function. And there we go, and that's how you find inverse. So notice, we started with a logarithm, we switched x and y, isolated the log, and then we changed it to an exponential function. And that's how you find the inverse of a log. Its inverse is an exponential. Now let's do it the other way. Let's say we start with an exponential form. What do you think we're going to end with? You're right. We're going to end with a log. So let's replace g of x with y. That's just my output for my exponential function. And everything else stays the same. Just make sure we have an x and a y in the equation. Second step, switch x and y. So x comes, replaces y, and then in the exponent, I'm going to put y minus 6. So that part's pretty easy. Replace f of x or g of x in this case, and then switch x and y. Now we have to solve for y. This is when it gets a little trickier. We want to isolate this base of 5. So what do we do first? We subtract 8. So we're going to have x minus 8, and that's minus 8 right there, we need to put that, is equal to 3 times the quantity, 5 to the y minus 6. Now, is the base isolated? And I hope you're saying no, it's not, because we have a coefficient of 3. So we need to divide both sides by 3. You could also multiply by 1 third. That may be a little cleaner here. So I'm just going to write it as 1 third times x minus 8 is equal to, and then, of course, these 3's when we divide it, cancel. So 5 to the y minus 6, just so you can see another way to look at it. Okay, now, 
I've got my base isolated. What's my next step to write the inverse? I have to get this y out of the exponent. The only way to do that is to rewrite it as a log. So log base, well, the base is 5 of this quantity, which is 1 third times x minus 8 is equal to the exponent, which is y minus 6. Okay, have I got the y by itself? Not quite yet, but I'm close because all I need to do now is move the constant. So let's write log base 5. And we could distribute that 1 third if we wanted to, but I think it's fine just the way it is. We've got 1 third times the quantity x minus 8. Equal, um, then we've got to add 6 to get it away from the y to get the y by itself. So plus 6 is equal to y. Now the y is finally by itself. And to indicate an inverse, I'm going to put raise it to the negative first. So here is our final answer to an rewriting an exponential as a log. So notice log base 5 came from the exponential function base 5 to some power, and those are inverses.